Welcome to this gentle yoga flow class, focusing on relieving tension out of the shoulders and the neck. So start to set up your space. You're gonna want your mat. You're gonna want something to sit on. So some sort of sitting cushion or sitting pillow. And then tonight, I also want you to grab, or today, I want you to also grab either a yoga block. Um, we're gonna use, what we're gonna do is we're gonna massage our necks. So if you don't have a yoga block, you might also have maybe a tool, a self-massage tool like this at home. Um, this is two tennis balls in a tube sock, tied at the end here. Uh, that will be a great tool. That's okay if you don't have this, but you know, some people do. Um, if you don't have either of those, what you're gonna grab instead is a towel or a, a thick t-shirt, something that you can roll like a burrito to create kind of like a burrito because we're going to prop it under our necks and give ourselves a massage. So make sure you have that tool around. Set up your space, grab your water, and get ready for a good, feel-good, upper body opening stretch. We're going to get started in a seated position. So once you know your space is set up, finding your way to seated, making sure those hips are elevated a little bit, Now, one of the good things about practicing yoga at home is that you are in charge of your space. So I just want you to kind of look around and just, you know, is there anything you need to arrange? Maybe you need to put your phone on, do not disturb, or close the door, or, you know, close the blinds, light a candle, whatever, you know, you need to do to create your vibe. And then you're gonna take your hands to your knees. Take a big breath, roll your shoulders up to your ears. And a big exhale as you roll your shoulders back and down. And do that again. Inhale, shoulders go forward and up. Exhale, they go back and down. One more time. All right, hands on the knees. You're gonna circle the torso. Inhale as you circle forward and then exhale as you circle back. And I want you to go slow. And all day you have been making things happen. You have been handling the to-do list. You've been planning, predicting, solving. But as we come to our gentle yoga practice, let's make the conscious shift from making things happen into allowing things to happen. Letting this be exploration time, not analyzing time. When you feel guided to, go ahead and reverse. And these circles can really look like whatever you want. I'll often close my eyes just allow myself to orbit in my own energy for a moment. It does not matter where you've been. It does not matter where you're going. Right now, this is where all your power exists, where your energy exists. And this is your practice of tuning in to your own energy, your life force, your prana, your chi, whatever you want to call it. So 
Go ahead and circle yourself back to center. Take a second to adjust back up on top of your sit bones and feel the spine lifting up to the sky. We're going to take our palms together, hands at the heart, the thumbnails resting on the notch right at the center of the breastbone. A gentle lifting of the chest to meet the thumbnails. You might look down or close your eyes. And take a big breath, breathe down into your torso. And then slow down the exhale. This gesture you are making with your hands, with your body. This is a gesture of finding your center. Grounding in to right here, right now. Pausing. So you can sense, you can feel into something deeper. Something more than just all the thoughts in the head. So take a big breath. Maybe give yourself a smile. Approaching your practice with an open heart, an open mind. Go ahead and circle the arms up overhead. Stretch high, really lengthen the sides of the body. And then drop your left arm down, right arm reaches up and over. Drop the shoulders, open up the heart. Yeah, what is it like to breathe into the sides of the ribs? Yeah, the ribs, they have mu we have muscles in between each rib, and so the ribs expand as you inhale, and then they contract as you exhale. Go ahead and bring it back to center. Lengthen through the middle, and then go over to the other side. Oh. And really focus on expanding into this open rib over here. And bring it back to center. Both arms up, lift and lengthen. Root down into the lower body, the hips. Lift up through the midsection and the upper body. And then we're going to twist to the right. The left hand goes to the right thigh. The right hand goes behind you. Now sit up as tall as you can. Imagine you're wearing a crown on top of your head. Wear your crown proudly. Take a big breath. And then start to turn the head. Look over the right shoulder still wearing that crown, nice and proud. Bring it back to center, arms reach up. And then you'll twist to the left. Crown lifting up, shoulders relaxing down, heart open, face soft. Bring it back to center. Both arms up. Go ahead and fold over your legs. Relax your head. And take a big breath. One more. Breathing into the back of the body. As you exhale, draw the core in. Roll the spine up. When you get to the top, shoulders back and the head lifts. All right. Switch the crossings of the legs. So we'll put our other shin in front for a second. Take the arms up, big breath. Right arm down, left arm goes up and over. Take an inhale into that open rib. Stay grounded into your hips. As you exhale, bring it back to center. Let's do the other side. So soften that left elbow towards the floor. 
Breathe into the side body. Exhale, bring it back to center. Both arms up. We're going to twist to the left. Left arm behind you. Right hand to your left thigh. Wear your crown. Open up your heart. Bring it back to center. Take a big breath. Other side. Let the twist happen from the ribs. Try to keep the hips grounded. And bring it back to center, both arms up, folding over. Relax the head. Sense the breath in the back of the body. On your next exhale, feel the belly button draw in, and then roll the spine up. All right, we are going to switch positions, find our way to tabletop. So let's go hands and knees for a moment. If you need cushion under your knees, maybe you, you know, put your cushion, a pillow or something. Nice, spreading the fingers nice and wide, pushing the ground away. And then we're gonna take our right arm up to the sky. Reach up, look up. Now your left hand pushes down into the ground just as much as your right arm reaches up. And we wanna make sure the right thumb is in our eye line. So the shoulders are stacked, the shoulders are out of the ears. Take a big breath. Take that right arm down, thread the needle. So you're gonna thread the right hand behind that left forearm and then let your right shoulder come forward and down. The right side of your head relaxes onto the floor. And take a big breath through the sides of the ribs. Try to relax your head. You have your left hand, that is your support or your leverage. Push down into your left arm. We're going to unwind. Right arm comes all the way up. And then right arm comes down to the floor. Okay, take a second. We're back in this tabletop position. Wiggle out what you need to. And then we'll do the other side. Left arm goes up. Expanding through the ribs, keeping that left thumb in your eye line. Shoulders out of the ears, smiling collarbone. And then bring that left hand down, thread the needle. Relax the head. The arms are just extensions from the rib cage. So as we breathe into the sides of the ribs here, letting the breath create space, We are creating more room for our arms, for our shoulders, for our neck. And opening up this middle part of our backs is so beneficial for getting the tension out of everything else. Now notice that right hand, push, push that right hand into the floor and then unwind. Left arm goes all the way up. And then left arm comes down. All right, spread the fingers. Now we're going to take a down dog here. I'm going to show you a variation that I've been really liking to do. I'm, I take my hands to the outer sides of my mat, and I actually scoop my fingers underneath the sides of my mat. I don't know. I've been really liking that lately. So I'm grabbing the sides of my mat. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips. And you can try that. If you don't like that, don't worry. You don't have to. I just want us to stretch our legs out for a second. The feet can be as wide as you need them to be. Pedaling the heels, wiggling the hips. Melting the chest down, relaxing the head. Take another big breath. Slowly take the knees to the floor. 
Take a child's pose. Let the forehead rest either on the back of the hands or the mat. notice just allow yourself to be quiet for a moment to observe this breath and these sensations to make peace with what's here relax into this field of awareness and then there's this breath just being an active participant in the mystery of life unfolding right before you, moment by moment, breath by breath. Now we're going to let those arms crawl forward and pull ourselves up. Oh. Now we're going to go back to a seated position. So setting up your throne, whatever cushions you want to sit on. Going back to seated. This time we're going to extend our right leg and then f keep our left knee folded in. So adjusting so you're on your sit bones. Remember your hips can be elevated as much as you need to to make this easy on your low back. Now you're going to take your arms out to your sides. Flip your right thumb down and then roll your head to the left. And this right hand can go down a little bit. It can press back. You just find your angle. And your head can, you know, tilt. It can chin towards collarbone. You just find what feels good. Then roll your chin to your chest. R rotate the right thumb up, then the left thumb down, and roll the head to the right. Ooh, smooth out the eyebrows. Take a breath. Finding your appropriate edge. Whew, softening those edges. Exploring, you know, where does resistance pop up for you? Can you soften in the face of resistance? Can you spread the fingers and open your heart no matter what? Bring your head to center. Take your arms up. Bend your right knee. Fold over your right leg. Relax your head. You could play with flexing the right toes up to the sky. You could play with pointing the right toes. Breathing into the back body and letting everything else go. Slowly roll it up. And then we're going to take our left knee up and put our left foot on the floor. And we might need to adjust the right leg in towards the center a little bit. That's okay. Now your left foot can be on the inside like this, or it could cross on the outside. So you get to choose. Just push that left foot down 
sit up really tall. Your right hand is going to wrap around and hug that thigh. And my other hand is just kind of, I'm just finding you know, where I want my hand, so I'm kind of grabbing forearms. Sit up really tall, lift your heart. And what you want to feel is a nice stretch along the outside of this left hip as you lift your chest up. Now, if you want to, you can take your left arm up to the sky, lengthening, lifting, and then the left hand is going to punch the ground right behind your back as you do a little twist and start to look over that left shoulder. Inhale to lengthen the spine wherever you are. Exhale to hug that left knee in a little bit. Go ahead and release that side. Uncross that left leg, both legs out in front of you. Just internally, externally rotate the legs. You can rotate, ro roll your ankles around a little bit. All right, left leg extended now. We're gonna fold this right knee in. Hmm. Arms out to the side, spread the fingers. We're going to go left thumb down, roll the head to the right. Nice bend that left elbow. Bring the back of the left hand to your back. So the left hand is behind your back, palm face out. And then right arm is going to go up. You're going to pat yourself on the back. We have these cow face arms. Shoulders down, lift your heart. Press your head back a little bit. Spread the fingers. So the elbows are reaching in opposite directions. Let your breath be strong and deep. Let your face be soft. Wipe all the expression off your face. Put the energy in the breath. Go ahead and release your arms. Arms go out. We got the left thumb up, the right thumb down. And then we're going to bring the back of that right hand to the back. And you can roll your head over to the left. Oh. And eventually, take that left arm up, pat yourself on the back. Drop the shoulders. Lift the heart, press the head back. Find your angles. your arms. Arms circle up overhead. Go slow. Bend that left knee. Fold over that left leg. Relax the shoulders. Take a big breath. Using your hands on the ground, slowly roll your spine up. And then we'll take that right knee up, right foot on the floor. You might need to adjust the left leg so it's straight out in front. And the legs are pretty active. So my left toes are flexing up. I'm pressing the left leg down. My right leg is, right foot is pressing. You know, I just get to decide where, inside or outside. Then wrap that left arm around. Sit up really tall. Lifting up through your heart. Relax the shoulders. 
Remember that crown on top of your head. Lift up through your crown. Be proud to be royalty. Mm. To be able to take this time out of your day for you. So take a breath. It's one thing to be living the dream, but it's another thing to acknowledge that you're living the dream. If you want to take that right arm up to help you lengthen even more, and then the right arm goes behind your back. You punch the ground right behind you just to help you sit up even taller. We really want to lengthen anytime we twist. So it's not about how far I can twist here. It's more about how tall can I get? Can I press my legs down so I can lift up through my spine? How do I engage with my breath to help me continue to create space? And then we'll slowly release. Ooh, both legs out in front. Shake them out. Roll your ankles around. All right, now this is where we're going to use our equipment. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Um, and you're just going to use what you have at home. And it's perfect, okay? And it doesn't have to be much. It's really, you know, depending on what you're working with. So if you have a yoga block, what we're trying to do, what we're going to do is we're going to use our folded towel, our yoga block, our two tennis balls and a tube sock if we have something like this. And we're going to be massaging the back of our neck. Okay? So if you have a blanket or a towel you're using, what you want to do is fold it up and roll it so that it creates kind of like a burrito sh sort of shape. And then you're going to carefully lay down and you're going to put, if you have a yoga block, you want to get a corner of that yoga block to press into the back of your neck. So we're going to play with angling it. If you have your folded up blanket or towel, your bur I'm going to call it the burrito. If you have a burrito, then you're going to put it underneath that curve of our neck. So if you have a yoga block, I want you to get a c the corner of the yoga block, the edge of the yoga block, to press into the flesh on the back of the neck. Ooh. Now if you have two tennis balls and a sock, you can be on the ground or even putting the tennis balls on top of the block and then you have a tennis ball on each side of the spine. So find a spot where you have this little bit of pressure underneath your neck. And let your head just be heavy. Letting your neck relax into the support underneath it. Take a breath. Soften your lower back. I like my knees bent with my feet wide so my knees fall towards each other and support each other. That way my legs are just relaxed. Now slowly turn your head to the right. Let the head be heavy. Turn the head to the left. And you have to play with whatever you have at home, you know, finding the angles. Maybe if you're using a towel, you got to bundle up the towel a little bit more. So you just have a little bit of, you know, stuff underneath the back of your neck that you can relax into. And then bringing the head to center. Can you move your object up 
just a tad. So we're closer to where our neck meets our skull. Really just pick a new a new spot. Just just uh, moving up a you know, barely half an inch maybe. Or down if you need to move down if you started up at the top. So now we're on a new part of the neck. And you're in charge, so adjusting whatever you need to. Take a breath. Can you relax your shoulders and your arms? And then turn the head to the right. Turn the head to the left. Bring the head to center. And take a breath. And then find another angle. Maybe you want to move it down a little bit. Maybe you want to move it up. Find a new angle. And it doesn't have to be a huge difference. Just a new spot. Maybe you go to the upper traps. You go down to more where your shoulders meet your neck. Let the head be heavy. Let the body relax over the object you're using. Take a big breath in. Slow exhale out. Turn the head to the right. Play with your angles. Turn the head to the left. to center. Take a breath. Relax the arms. And then one more time, I want you to go to the top of the neck where your neck meets your skull. And what's going to happen is you're going to push your block or your folded towel into the, the, the ridge that is where the neck meets the skull. There's a little ridge there. So position your item, whatever you're using, and you'll feel your chin tuck down towards your chest because we're pushing the back of the neck. Relax your lower back. Take a big breath. Soften your rib cage down. Relax the arms. Slowly turn the head to one side. And then to the other. Bringing your head back to center. Take one hand behind your head. So you're going to support your head, lifting the head a little bit so you can remove your block or your folded towel and carefully lay your head back down. We're going to find our way into Shavasana. So 
So if there's some way you'd like to set up for Shavasana, maybe putting a cushion or pillows under the back of your knees, you can. You can keep your knees bent if you want. Just take a second to lie flat on the mat. Shift and adjust so that you're comfortable. Take your time. Shavasana is one of the most important poses of a yoga practice. It is that moment where we allow the physical body to find stillness. So that's why we want to make sure we're comfortable. So the body can lie still for just a moment. And take a big breath down into a soft belly. And as you exhale, allow the body to get soft and heavy. Allow your body to melt into the ground. And as sounds, thoughts, feelings come into your awareness, each sensory input is just a reminder to the body to soften. is in the stillness that our bodies can remember that we are safe. We are supported. Remembering that we have the tools we need to replenish and revitalize our energy centers. The tools we need to heal connect, to inspire, to come back into the wholeness of who we are.
Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Bend the knees if the legs are extended. Roll over onto your favorite side. And then from your sideline position, slowly, gently guide yourself to a seated position. As you welcome yourself back to an upright position, feel the center line of your spine really lifting and opening. Put a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly. Allow the corners of the mouth to curl up to the ears. As you give yourself a smile and tell yourself thank you. I'd acknowledge the effort, acknowledge the showing up, the time you've put into you, and take a big breath. It's precious, so allow yourself to savor it. And then circle the arms overhead, bring your palms to touch. Hands come down to your heart. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide and from my heart to yours. Namaste.